We see them all the time. Glossy ads for alcohol trying to get us to buy their brand, but we're not the only ones watching these commercials. And now Kristen Scovera joins me from the newsroom. And Kristen, kids, they're seeing these as well. Of course they are. And as it turns out, these ads are successfully swaying teens even before they can buy alcohol legally. So those cute Budweiser puppies we all love, the icy cold Coors light cans, even James Bond drinking a Heineken, they're rebuilding brand loyalty in a big way. And now according to new data out of Boston University, underage drinkers are more than five times more likely to buy brands that advertise on national television 36% or more likely to buy brands that advertise in national magazines. Earlier today, I spoke with Harvey Milkman. He's an expert on cravings and addictions, and he says the sooner it starts, the more problematic it can all be. Consider that the teenage brain is wired in such a way that they anticipate the positive rewards of activities and they less value the harmful consequences. So they're just ripe for taking, you know, looking at those ads and saying, well, I'd like to be like that. Now, of course, as with every study, it's hard to draw an exact conclusion. We can't simply blame advertising for behavior. There are just so many other variables, but it's obvious that these ads have had some serious influence on teens. Molly?